Hi hey, YouTubers, this is Superman G coming back at you one more again. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the different types of power supplies. There are three that a lot of people may not know about. They may not know about the differences and they also may not know about which one to get. And of course, there are three. And I'm going to show you some pictures of those three. You have modular, semi-modular, and non-modular. Now, the differences are what comes with the power supply. For example, the non-modular power supply, which is this power supply right here, is an older version of power supply. This is what has always come with computers meaning that all the cables that come with the power supply are actually soldered into the power supply so you use whatever cables you use and then the rest you have to bundle them up and tie them down or find some other way to tuck them or bundle them into the case all from that is the semi-modular power supply now the semi-modular power supply has probably one or two cables that are soldered into it that are coming out from the back and as you can see it has less cable than the non-modular power supply so this has just the power cable the 24 pin power cable that goes to the motherboard sometimes they'll have that and then they have a SATA cable or a uh, the 4 or 8 pin power connector that goes to the um, processor. And then the rest of these ports that you see here are for cables that you just plug in only what you need to connect the computer to your peripherals like your graphics card or your CPU or to your optical drives if you have those and that's a semi-modular the modular has no cables soldered into it all the cables that you need are in the box and you plug them in one at a time of whatever cables you need and then the rest of them you throw them back in the box so these are your differences now I'm going to show you what they look like if you were shopping for them so I'm going to bring up my favorite place. Hey, we're on New Egg. This is a non-modular power supply. So that means that all the cables are soldered into this power supply. So whatever cables you're not using, you are going to have to tuck them away inside of the case someplace. Now, they're usually cheaper because of the inconvenience of not being able to choose the cables that you need but you're going to have a heck of a time trying to get all these cables put away in a case if you're building a computer so my advice to you is if you're building a computer for the first time don't get these this particular power supply it's, it's going to be a headache for you unless you want to try it or unless you want to go cheap on the price of the power supply. Now, when I say cheap, I don't mean it's a bad thing that this particular power supply is $60. Now, this is an EVGA. So, once again, from my previous video, you want to make sure you do your research and make sure that what you're getting is a good deal or a good product. EVGA has been around for a long time. I doubt this is a bad product, but you want to make certain anyway. So, do your calculation to make sure you're getting the wattage that you should be getting and you'll be good and this uh, EVGA has very good warranty on their product so I really wouldn't worry too much about this so the next one is going to be semi modular and of course semi modular means that you have this one cable here that's coming out or two cables coming out and the rest you just plug in as you need them and the last is a full modular power supply. So that means that there are no cables that are attached to this particular power supply. 
you have to pl plug in whatever cables that you're going to use. So this is the more convenient type of power supply that is out now. And it's probably the most widely used power supply. So if you're building a computer for the first time, fully modular power supplies are the way to go. They're more convenient for you to hook your cables in. There's less clutter in the back of your case. You don't have to worry about so many wires that you have to tuck them in or find a place to store them. So fully modular is more convenient. These are all the cables that come with whether it's semi-modular or fully modular power supply. And these are usually be in the box or the case uh, that comes with your, um, your power supply. And then you just use whatever cables you're going to use and then put the rest away. And then it saves you a lot of headache of having to tuck them away in case. And that's pretty much it. So I hope this helps you guys out. You all take care. Be safe. And peace out.